morning guys welcome back to another vlog i got my starbucks this morning red cup season has officially started it's november 3rd it's actually my little sister's birthday everyone say happy birthday maddie in the comments if you guys watched the last vlog i did something really weird to my shoulder and a chiropractor dm'd me so i'm going to the chiropractor i've been canceling my workout i know that like working out is supposed to help it but like i just feel like i'm gonna make it worse okay i'll go back to working out tomorrow i've been off my workout game all week it's thursday and so far i've only gone on walks which is like totally fine but I rely so heavily on working out for my mental health. My eye makeup, like my eyeliner, will not come off. So if I look a little bit crazy, that is why. Today, um, we are setting up the Christmas tree. I'm about three days behind due to my very severe injury. Thank you very much. Also, I got my iced coffee. You guys know the past, well, like four years at this point, Morgan Yates actually started this order and then I copied her. I would get iced coffee with peppermint and oat milk, right? Maybe not, it wasn't, maybe it wasn't oat milk. Let me, what did we get? Let me call her. No, it's 7 a.m. there. Every season, I have to ask you guys what my orders are for the winter and the fall because I just forget and I feel like something is off. But I will say the Starbucks I go to, they pretty much, they're new and they pretty much like never get the order right, which is kind of fun because like you get a different drink, you know, but just don't know. Anyways, I have my outfits for my live show. I've got a try on today. I've got an event tonight. I have a chiropractor. I have a meeting for the live show. And most importantly, the Christmas decor is going up. I'm so excited. So I'm going to start by bringing it all upstairs, which is what I've been dreading. I asked my mother to come help and she's too busy for me. This is, this is what we're doing. The dogs, these are my little helpers today. Oh, look at them. Oh, Coco. That's embarrassing. Coconut. Okay. Well, we're gonna move on to Fitz. Oh, there she is. Oh, you look so cute. I had a dream she was a lizard last night, so I, I really don't know. Look at how cute they look right now. Oh my God. Well, the tree is up and the top lights are off. They are not working. My mom's gonna have to come over and fix it. And she's also gonna come after. I know this tree is not up to her standards. My mom is an interior designer and she's crazy about Christmas trees. And I know that this is just not up to her standards. I didn't spread it out enough. And I know she's gonna redo it. But honestly, at least it's up here and it's gonna look better when she fixes it, okay? Okay, my tree is from Hobby Lobby. This is a Taylor Swift ornament, the first one I put up. It's furbish. I also have Dolly over here. This one's from Favor the Kind. I'll try to link these below. I don't remember where this Texas one is from. I love cute, like, meaningful ornaments, and I have just stuff throughout. I'm gonna start collecting more this year. My favorite are furbish. I have a lot of anthropology ones. Any of, like, these, like, the felt ones are anthro. The circles are Target, and then the green disco balls, I believe, are... West Elm. I think they're West Elm. I don't, they might be CB2, but I'm pretty sure they're West Elm. And then the tree skirt, I have no idea where that's from. Anyways, very festive. And then over here, I have our stockings, me, Fitz, and Coco, the garland over here. This is not what it's gonna be. I just have this stuff here until I decide. Part of me wants like an arrangement here and just put it in the, in the center, but then it's also kind of big, but I could also move that one. I just added some things here and then these are here. I don't know. Like I need my mom to come over and fix it. This is not gonna be here. This is just because I set that down there. And then over here, we have my typical little Christmas tree thing, which I'm kind of over. I don't even know if I'm gonna keep that this year. We'll We'll see when my mom comes it's gonna look better also ashley cook sent over her collab with abel which is not even in this box they just brought it upstairs but it's really cute it's this like never till now necklace in gold and then this ring i also got in gold so cute i love her by the time y'all are watching this vlog um the podcast episode with ashley went up she's just the best like so talented and also just a great person so love her here we go her little abel collab 
so cute. Okay, time for a little chiropractor fit. Also, I don't really care to have a debate in the comments on physical therapy versus chiropractor. So just honestly, save your breath. Don't even worry about it. Um, my leggings are story. Hoka's always. This vest is free people movement. I got it in a large. It's so big, but it's so comfy. Got it really big too, so you can have like more space to wear like huge hoodies, you know? Long sleeve is Aritzia that I already stained. And then my Chanel. My coffee order is incorrect. And uh, we're off. What a productive morning. Love this. I need my lights to come back on. All right, guys. Look at my new background. I haven't put the boxes up. Just called off a meeting for the live show, which is very exciting. And I'm actually going to go to Restore, which is where I go to do like my infrared sauna. There's red light, cryo, my IV drip, Russian boots, uh, Heidenberg chamber. I mean, they literally have everything. And they've reached out to do a deal. I don't even think they realize that I'm actually a member. So I'm gonna go film that and do the sauna, doing cryo, and I'm doing red light today. So I'm gonna bring my book and just relax. But I'm very excited. I'm so excited for the live show. I don't know when this video is up, but November 11th at the factory in Dallas. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be so fun. Margo and Dom will be here next week. I'm very excited. I'm back from my little quick wellness stop. I was only there for like an hour 15. I do ask Smoothie King. I'm back on my Smoothie King grind. Like it is just so good. I was shopping online for the live show and I picked up a lot of things that look the same. From Zara, I just got some like random stuff that I figured I would need for the fall and winter. First thing being this skirt. It's navy, cute, looks fun. I'm gonna try all this on because I'm not sure if it will fit. I also got this brown skirt, which makes me like kind of want to wear it tonight. I have like a launch dinner at Park House, which is like kind of like Soho House, but in Dallas. And this was like kind of nice. And I don't know where else I'll wear it to. I feel like it looks very like dressy. And then I also got this set. I also need to learn how to like blow out my own hair because I was just going through with my Dyson like round brush and I just can't get it to look like it did yesterday. I'm like, how do you do that? I don't know how, I've like tried so many times. Also, my sweats, they're available. Okay, this set is so cute. It's this long sleeve blue top. It's like blue and red, which is kind of like odd, but I'm into it. And then this, oh, matching skirt, which I thought was so cute. There's a little slit. I just think that is so fun. One of my Aritzia packages, I got these pink pants. I was thinking maybe an all pink outfit just because it's very me, but like, is it to me? Like, has it, have I done it? You know what I mean? Pink Melina pants, which like look like Barbie pants. So I kind of do want to wear these. Like these look very, very cute. Like, I could really be into this and I have so many pink tops. It's like not even funny. But I did want to make sure it's like the right shade of pink. I do have pink heels that are cute that I do love. Okay, so I got a pink top just to make sure. This one is very like similar to the ones that I have from Skims, but I still thought it was cute. It's not the exact same, so I probably won't need to keep it. Oh, I also just randomly got these like pink TNA like yoga pants. They're really inexpensive and they're cute, and so I was like, you know what? That's what I need. Oh, you know what? I like them in an extra small. I do like these cut of like tank tops and stuff. I just find they're the best basic. They have um, shoulder pads and I love them. But I weirdly like the extra small size. I have these in like a bunch of different colors and I got it in a medium and I regret it. I should have got an extra small. And then I wanted to try the effortless pant because I don't have any and I felt like I needed to try a pair to see if I like them. So I'll keep you guys posted. I'm gonna try on some of these outfits and see how I like it. I don't know if I showed you guys this one already. This is the other pair of pants I got. So I'm gonna try all these on and see, but these pink pants over here, they're really calling my name. All right guys, so we're gonna do a little bit of makeup as I update y'all on my wellness routine. So, I go, like I said, to Restore, putting some lip gloss on. This is the By Beauty Agave Lip Mask, I believe. Yeah, it's really, really hydrating. I'm actually going to try to combine the Hourglass and Giorgio Armani foundation and see how I like that. But anyways, going in to more of my wellness routine, as you guys saw a few clips earlier, I have been really in my wellness era. And it really started when I started going to Restore because I could regularly go. This is not sponsored, by the way. I'm just telling you guys. Um, I could regularly go to 
the infrared sauna, which I love. I find that for me, the infrared sauna calms me down. It really centers me. It's really good for circulation. It's great for your skin. It's like literally there's so many benefits. It's crazy. I love it. I'll sit there and I will listen to, um, I've actually started getting into meditation. I will play a superhuman meditation and really, really enjoying those. And then I will go in and I'll follow up with cryo. I love cryotherapy. You go into that machine where all of the like, it looks like steam, but it's just like ice because it's like negative 140 degrees in this room or something crazy. And I've worked my way up to three minutes at a intensity of three. I play the same Beyonce I'm That Girl song all the time when I'm in there and when I leave I am so focused that I actually like think I can run for president. The crazy thing is if I take that hour out of my day to go do those things, a lot of the time I'll like guilt myself being like, oh I should be working, I should be doing something more productive, I should be doing this, this, whatever. But if I take that hour out of my day, I get so much more done on the in those days because I'm just so much more focused. It helps with energy, it helps with sleep, it just, it's helped me a ton. I also am a big fan of red light. I did red light today, red light's just like, there's so many benefits to all this stuff, but I do red light because I like that it helps my skin. Uh, and yeah, my wellness era has been incredible. I've been trying to get facials more regularly. I've been going to the Thompson Spa. You can use code Kenzie through the end of the year for 20% off of the Dallas location. I get a skin butter facial. Go to Cheryl if you can, she's the best. And what else are we doing? I don't know, I'm just like getting more into like, cold and hot therapy okay well i ran out of storage i finished my makeup this feels so like old school youtube still not done with the smoothie it takes me like literally four hours i used a little bit of this hourglass palette that i just had in pr i liked it what else have i been liking a lot a brush that i've been loving is this kosas brush bronzer brush it is so incredible and i've been like patting in my bronzer instead of going like this which I've always done, but TikTok told me that's what makes it look muddy and like dragged down. But I noticed that if I like pat it, it looks a lot better. So I've been doing that. Just now I did liquid eyeliner, which I haven't done in forever. I honestly feel like I look like I'm 16 because that was probably the last time I wore like liquid winged liner on my own. I feel like, I'm, no, I do brown winged eyeliner. I did that last fall and I, I love that. I actually need to get brown liquid liner. I think I'm out. This is the liner that I used today. I really liked it. I've been loving the Milk Clear Brow Gel as well. That has been a go-to. I've been using the Laura Mercier Highlighting Powder in Rose Glow for my highlighter in the recent months. Dims, I love so much. The stick that I go to, let me make sure. This is the one I go to the most, as you can probably tell. It doesn't like have a name. Oh, You Do You and Mood Boost. If that's correct. The last thing I've been loving is the Kosas Concealer. Been back on my concealer grid. Oh, actually, that's not true. Kosas Concealer, I really, really like. And then the Kosas, like, soft blur powder. I tried this first when I was in New York, and I was like, I don't really get it. Like, whatever. This powder is incredible. My skin is, like, extra shiny right now because I use the, like, Hollywood filter thing. But this powder, when you put it on your skin, it truly blurs it. It does what it says it does but it makes your skin look so soft. It's such a good powder. Like, cannot recommend this enough. 10 out of 10. All right, guys, I changed or looked through so many different outfits just to end up in the most subpar outfit that I could put together, basically. My top is Skims. My pants are Princess Polly. These shoes are Sam Adam and I wear them all the time. Chanel, I might throw on my, like, oversized Aritzia blazer that's also, you guessed it, brown. Um, and this is the look. I'm going to a launch dinner for Ashley Robertson. She is launching. I think she'll actually run today, I'm pretty sure. So, that's exciting. We're going to Barca's. I have literally no idea who else I'm going. I'm sure I'll know someone. Um, but yeah, I'm heading out. If y'all saw my garden drama on Instagram stories last night, but I have two raised beds, as we know, and the bottom of the raised bed that's holding the soil, it's like black plates, right? And I guess two of those fell. Conveniently, when my HOA sent over people, I literally think they're taunting me, when they sent over people for my roof, and I know some people, well, one person said that happened to me, I had too much dirt. Um, no, no, that's not the case. That's not what's happening here. 
because my raised beds were totally fine. They were fine in the storms. And then all of a sudden, people come over to fix my rooftop, which as we know, will probably not be fixed. And they like move things. They just left it like that, okay? And I'm gonna live in the reality that the HOA did this to me. So I woke up very early this morning, had to cancel my morning walk, went up to the roof and started, you know, gardening away, trying to fix my garden, got it all done. And then I hit something and it fell. So there's people who are working at my house today, so they're gonna fix it for me. But I, I just like, uh, I'm in mourning right now. I'm truly in mourning. Well, what really sucks is like, I mean, we do have extra seeds, but the good news is like the good plants that are already grown right now, those were not the ones that were affected, but like, guys, this just cannot be happening to me. Anyways, I'm on my way to weightlifting and it's Friday morning. It is my first workout, actual workout all week besides like 12 through 30 or <coughs> oh my god. Walks, my like back still needs to be adjusted again. I have an appointment at 10.45, oh my god. I'm getting a lash lift too for the first time. So I've heard good things and um, I guess I'm just like trusting them with my life. I was gonna go um, shopping for stuff for the Okai and like looking around at fabrics, but I was gonna do that with my grandma and it's like storming. It's gonna storm this afternoon, so I, we might, I don't want her to like drive the rain, so we might do that Monday. So we will see. Okay, what can I get for you? Okay, can I just do an iced coffee? A grande or venti? Grande. Iced coffee, okay. With no classic. What else for you? Um, two pumps, uh, peppermint, oat milk. What else for you today? Can I just do the kale egg bites? Here you are. This week just feel like, felt like it didn't happen. Like, I felt not off mentally, just like off my- It's because I didn't work out every morning, you know? And I just felt off my routine, like less productive, if you will. Hey, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? Can I have them for both? Yeah. We have enough? Yeah, I'll do both then. Thank you. This is so embarrassing, guys. I've had so many points at the- And I like always- I'm like, oh, I'll use it another time for whatever reason. And they were like, you need to start using them because they're going to expire. And I've gotten free breakfast the past two mornings. So that's actually humiliating. It really is. Anyways, I'm going to go weightlift. It's my favorite workout now in Dallas. I've been really into weightlifting because I actually really like my coach. But and it's just like a low stress environment. Like it's very welcoming. It's only a 45 minute workout, which for whatever reason feels so much shorter than a 50 or a 55. And it's not like, obviously weightlifting is hard, but it, it, I don't know how to describe it. Like the environment is not like crazy intense. So anyways, on my way. Okay, back to head and heart, the chiropractor. It's very much needed. All right, guys, I should have done a before and after, but there is a very big difference in my lashes. I just can't get them wet for 24 hours. I, I really wish you could see more. And there's gonna be an even bigger difference whenever I put mascara on, but I don't know. I, I like I feel like it's obvious, right? So I'll review it more as time goes on. The tint is gonna last like seven to ten days, I think they said. I could be wrong. And then the actual like lash lift lasts five to eight weeks. And I got a tint and a lash lift. So it's just very convenient. I have finished my work for the day. I was just watching the Kardashians. I had Selena Gomez's documentary on while I was working and it was so good. Like I wanted to cry multiple times. This sweater, by the way, is amazing. It's free people. It's been storming like crazy. So I ordered ramen and I mean like, there's nothing like a stormy afternoon on your couch with ramen, like there's really nothing better. My water, my breadwinning housewife tumbler. Tonight I'm just going to dinner with the girls. I'm in like a very good, cozy mood. I'm gonna start getting ready because I think I'm gonna go to their place first. And then I'm gonna head over there. But Selena Gomez's documentary was incredible. So anyways, um, I'm gonna get ready and then go to dinner. Just got this package from Set Active and I have to say the quality of this puffer is a like 20 out of 10. I like this better than the Super Puff feel. Like I'll say it, okay? 
And I have Superpuff, I love Superpuff. I obviously love her Etsy, I literally shop there all the time. But this puffer, like it is truly next level. I love it. All right, y'all, I'm ready for the night. This is my outfit. By the way, update, I love this closet room. I brought my speaker up that Lauren got me for my birthday. I've just been playing music and like just taking my time getting ready. And it is so much fun. I do need to go through this weekend. I'm not gonna vlog this weekend because next week is a big week. We have the live show. I'm very excited. Um, and we would drop in a bunch of stuff. People are coming in town. I just like don't want to burn out. So I'm not, not that like vlogging is like crazy, but like I want to just like unplug from like socials. What I'm saying. Any no, you guys don't care. You literally don't care. Why am I telling you this? Anyways, I need to continue to go through and get rid of stuff because I still have too many clothes to where it's a little bit too cluttered. So I always, um, I donate or give it to friends. I normally give it to friends and they donate the rest of what they don't want. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy with how this has turned out. And every time I come into this room, it really is still like a dream come true. Like I never thought I'd have a closet like this. And I'm just so like, grateful and inspired and it's just like really cool. I, it, I would have never expected that from a closet or in my house, but like it really does make me feel inspired. So I love that. Anyways, my outfit, which is what I came on here to say, the shoes are boots from Jeffrey Campbell. If you guys listen to Morgan Stewart on Call Her Daddy, she said ankle boots are out. And I don't like ankle boots. I don't really wear ankle boots. Like, it's very rare that I have a pair that I like. Like, maybe a pair from Jacobas, and, like, that's it. But, like, here's the thing. I wear these under jeans. So, like, does that count, Morgan? You know what I mean? Like, I, they go up, like, mid-length, like, to here. But I just have these to, like, wear with pants, and it looks like they're higher. You know, not that it matters what people think. I just want you guys to let me know what you think. Jeans are Abercrombie, but look, what is Morgan Stewart at Connie Lesslander, you know what I mean? Anyways, jeans are Abercrombie, Curve Love, I don't know exactly the fits, I never know the fits, you have to go back to like my Abercrombie hauls when I link them, because like I just don't know off the top of my head. Jacket is, I think Princess Polly, my top is just a like short sleeve bodysuit from Skims, because it's pouring out, it's about to stop, it's going to be like hotter today, so that's why I'm like, I don't even know what to wear. Um, I pulled my hair back just because I didn't want to get rained on and I just like don't care, and then I have my Chanel bag. And that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was a little bit shorter, I think, hopefully, than the past ones because we've been really getting a little too chatty there, you know? So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon. Bye. It's something I'm like struggling with even as I get older because now I'm becoming the age of some of these like moms and teachers that were so, I mean, evil to me and, and my daughter and just very brash and it's like hard for me to now understand like I would never even like when she has like little beefs with her friends it's I always like smile and still wave because I'm like I'm 30 I don't care what their issues are you know so it's hard for like me to now sit back and realize like how actually like mean women were